We're starting first here at 6 with this boy's act of bravery after surviving the unthinkable. I just saw my dad holding a shotgun and my mom, like, and mom screaming at him. That little boy testifying at his father's murder trial. He's the son of Ronnie O'Neill, his father on trial for the murder of the boy's mother and sister, and also for trying to kill Ronnie, allegedly. Now, because he's representing himself, this creates the unusual scenario of the father cross-examining, questioning his own son. The, the man is accused of trying to kill him, and now he is basically questioning his son's testimony. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live at the courthouse in Hillsborough County. Aaron, even separated by video screen because the boy is in a remote location, this um, had to take incredible courage by this now 11-year-old boy. Yeah, Chris, he was incredibly brave. He showed unbelievable composure in that remote location as he gave his testimony this morning, followed and, and was had to describe uh, all of these horrific events that occurred that evening. Um, what you are about to hear is part of little Ronnie's testimony. He's 11 years old now, followed by some of the cross-examination that he experienced uh, with his father, who, as you said, is representing himself. This was the first time that they have seen each other and spoken to each other since that uh, the attack uh, on March 2018. State, you ready to proceed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I just saw my dad holding a shotgun and my mom, like, and mom screaming at him. And your father had a shotgun. What happened next? What did he do? My, my mom ran into my sister's room. My mom ran into my sister's room and terrified into the closet. And then my dad said, come in here and uh, come kill this uh, the B word. Did you hear any shots from the shotgun before that? Yes. How many times? One. Was there a time when your mother was able to get out of the closet? She was like stumbling outside, and then I just saw my dad chase her. What do you remember happening next? My dad told me to walk around and say like some words. And do you remember what words your father told you to say? Uh, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Yes. Did he do something to your sister? Yes, he uh, hit her with an axe. And then he went in the garage. I followed him. He put like he put me on the ground, and then he like had his foot on top. I was laying my stomach. He had his foot on top of me, and he was holding me down. And he was like lighting a match. Mr. O'Neill, any questions? How you doing, Ron? Good. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Did you see me shoot your mom? No. Did I hurt you that night of this incident? Yes. I did. And how did I hurt you? You stabbed me. And investigators have said that Ronnie O'Neill tried to set his son and their house on fire uh, before this night of, of violence ended, according to investigators. Again, that was the first time that that father and son have seen each other since that violent night back in March 2018. Uh, the boy's father, what you kind of heard there was him trying to call into question his, son recollect, his son's recollection of the events of that night. And he, you know, he says that there's some kind of inconsistencies in between what the boy says now and what he had said to detectives and attorneys in the years that followed uh, that night. But there's one thing, though, that the prosecutors have really tried to hammer home here, what they tried to, to make sure the jury jury understood is that in their opinion there's only one person who could have carried out the crimes that were committed that night and that person is the defendant Ronnie O'Neill III. Live in Tampa, Aaron Messner, Fox 13 News.